Greetings, everyone. This is First and Twenty Seven Fifty Three with the new game, Principia, Master of Science. Uh, this is a game based on the Scientific Revolution, um, which occurred in the seventeenth uh, century, uh, just over one hundred twenty years after have passed since Copernicus advocated his heliocentric theory of the universe in 1543. Since then, many astronomers have earnestly attempted to unravel the laws that govern God's domain, the heavens, and the basis of staggering volumes of observational data. This is going by way too quick for me to keep up. So it's basically just summing, summarizing um, the events leading up to the uh, scientific revolution of the 1700s. You saw Galileo there. Uh, and here at the end, uh, 25 years after Galileo's death, research is structuring Galileo. Research into structuring Galileo's incomplete theory was conducted with a plum uh, by Hook of London's Royal Society and uh, Huygens of the. I don't know if I said his name right. Of the uh, French Academy of Sciences. It was at this time that rumor of a gifted Cambridge student began to spread. His name was Isaac Newton. And I'm gonna go ahead and play as Isaac Newton. Um, you get to select from a number of different scientists of the era. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna start as Newton. Isaac Newton, a British physicist and mathematician. Uh, he is hailed as one of the three great mathematicians. His first great discovery, the spectrum of light, was finding that white light was an amalgam of monochromatic light. Next, using universal law of gravitation, he successfully mathematically proved that planets move along elliptical orbits. The significance of this was explained was explaining the movement of celestial and ter terrestrial bodies under one law. The manuscript of his collective theories, Principia, took the world by storm, and Newton went on to obtain immutable fame. In 1705, he was knighted and known henceforth as Isaac Newton. All right, and here are some statistics in the areas. This is how he... Uh, the areas that he's skilled in. Optics is one. I think S is superior. Uh, so it's like A, B, C, D, and then S is like above A. So I'm assuming it means superior. I'm not sure. Um, you also have these skills of engineering and drawing. So these are like the academic areas, I guess. These are his skill areas. And you can do up to three topics at once. And he starts with disposition, disposition of light. So let's go ahead and start here, starting the game. And we are located in uh, Cambridge, England, over here. Here we go. And we have a bunch of different events occurring here. Uh, different, what's going on with different philosophers? Robert Boyle offered assistance to Isaac Barrow. Isaac Barrow, I think, is actually one of our like competitors. He is also uh, researching in this position of light. And he's actually a little ahead of us, so that's not good to start. We're a little behind. Um, Robert Hooke, I believe, is right there. And let's see. He's researching two different areas. This position of springs and the examination of plants. Uh, and he's got different items here, too. We have an item, I understand. I think we have an item. We have... Let's see, I don't even need to do that. I'm right here. Back this up. We have two items. We have a prism, and we have drawing instruments. Prism is good for optics. So, let's go into our laboratory here. And let's check out what we can do here. Apparently, it would appear I need to conduct further experiments. So we can do an experiment, and we can use apparatuses. If we're going to do an experiment in this topic of disposition of light, then we have to use the prism. We can't use our other uh, apparatus, which was drawing tools. So let's go ahead and experiment. Um, B 
begin the experiment with disposition of light. And here we go. If formally dispersed light is recombined, the resulting color will vary depending upon types of colors combined. Hmm. So this will improve our experimental skill and our skill of optics. Hold on a second. The path of light changes upon passing through medium such as water. This speaks to differences in diffusivity between water and air. A sudden idea, light refracts as it passes through a medium. Struck while researching uh, this, position, this position of light. So now we have a new idea that has emerged. And all the other researchers will go through there. A lot, some of them are reading books. Some of them are calculating mathematics. Financial assistance is being offered and accepted. More books are being read. And we now have this new discovery, which is that light refracts as it passes through a medium. Um, Isaac Newton was the discoverer, is the discoverer. It is a theory. Uh, there are also inventions that you could discover. Importance is 20, and we are almost complete here. So let's try and go ahead and prove the theory. See if we can complete it. Here we are studying. It ought to be that light refracts as it passes through a medium. If I could just... So it's just as my theory hypothesized. I should incorporate this fact into my paper and make it publicly known. All right, completion is at 73. That's pretty good. And we are in June of 17, or not 17, 1667. And he says, uh, it would appear I need to conduct further reasoning. So let's go ahead and reason here. See what he has to say. See what he comes up with. Perhaps uh, sunlight contains all the colors to begin with. And perhaps those colors are simply being dispersed by the prism. Ah, what do you know? Roy G. Biv. One of them just changed profession. If we go to our guy, it does say our profession. We are a student and our income is uh, five coins per month. There are other professions to grab. Uh, lecturer, professor, uh, fellow at one of the academies, royal scientist. That sounds pretty cool. Diplomat. Ooh, we can do government officials, diplomat and government officials. Those will be interesting. <clears throat> However, you need fame to acquire these. And in order to get fame, our fame is now at 37, so we can't really take any of those positions on right now. But if we can publish a paper with the uh, Royal uh, Society of London right here, then we might be able to move up but right now we are a student so let's go back into the laboratory and let's go ahead and conduct another experiment on this disposition of light and hopefully this will complete the experiment or complete the theory if formally dispersed light is recombined the resulting color will vary depending on the types of colors combined Experiment of this position increases our experimental skill to 26. And the skill of optics has increased. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I pressed the wrong button. It's getting late at night. What I wanted to do was go into the idea and let's prove the theory and if we complete this theory then we can write a paper and we can publish it 
It ought to be that light refracts as passes through medium. If I could just, there it is. We said that before. Completion of the Fury is now full at 80, or at 80. And at this point, it is time to write a paper so that uh, Isaac Barrows, who is far superior in skill right here, does not catch up. What did he do? Isaac Barrows is reading a book. Ha! Waste your time reading a book. I am going to write a paper. Compose a paper. Here it is. Let's see. This looks good. That checks out. A fine paper if I do say so myself. Good. Good to hear. And that's our paper right there. It's like a sentence. <laughs> okay. Let's see. While researching this position of light, I researched the conclusion that light refracts as it passes through medium. This fact should be a key. Play crew role in delivering my views on this position of light. Writing the paper in September of 1667. And now in October of 1667. What's going on here? Financial aid. John Becker, oh, Johann Becker. I should like to preserve my amenity, 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 between Newton and myself. I hope to, I hope my sincerity shan't fall, fall on deaf ears. All right, Mr. Newton, I regard your exceptional research with the utmost respect. It is with expect, expectation of your future findings. I behold myself to rendering 100 coins from my personal expenses to your financial aid. We got a letter. So, promise of financial aid. Betcher is a dependable man. Is a dependable man of character. So I will go ahead and accept the money from him. I shan't squander such goodwill. And our friendship increased by 10. And we should get 100 gold coin with that. Okay, so our paper is now written. And it is time to submit the paper. We have an option of submitting it to the Royal Society of London or the French Academy of Sciences. Looks like the authority of the Royal Society of London is greater, so let's go there. And let's submit the paper. And we'll see if they accept. They should. Okay. Paper from Mr. Isaac Newton addressed to the Royal Society of London has arrived. I would like to render a verdict on the evaluation of this paper in our capacity as Royal Society of London. What is the opinion of the secretary? Light refracts as it passes through medium. Hmm, I see. A fascinating paper, is it not? <laughs> I concur. There is quality here. This is, uh... And a certain credibility about it. And you, Mr. Hook, what is your position? That was the president speaking. I fail to see anything outstanding about it. I am of the opinion that it should not be accepted. Uh-oh. My opinion is divided, however, I must collate my views expressed in my capacity as the Royal Society of London. Uh-oh, I've never seen this before. It is decided we shall accept the paper. Thank God. Okay, Robert Hook. He was a little, um... Obnoxious there, I think. He didn't want to accept my paper. Light refracts as it passes through a medium is garnering critical acclaim. Newton, fame of Isaac Newton has now grown to 60 from 37. The Royal Society of London has ruled in favor of proffering research fees for Mr. Newton's research. We ask that you continue your endeavors and redouble your, your, the fruits of your research. I say thank you. Oh, that's a nice big increase in money. 
All right, the authority of uh, the Royal Society of London has increased by two. And I've now become the authority on the disposition of light. Robert Hook. Challenging my paper. All right, let's go to the topics here. So these are the various topics that exist. Optics is our area of expertise. There is one other scientist who's interested in optics. He's Isaac Barrow. He's got a lot more money than I do. And fame. And he is working, he was working on the same thing, I, same theory I was, but he didn't publish it. So it looks like I beat him to it. I was playing this game before, and I recorded like a whole two hours of it, but uh, the music was way too loud. So uh, he actually beat me in the original version that I was playing, and I ended up uh, moving to Amsterdam and then Paris and publishing a bunch of papers with the uh, uh, Royal Academy of Paris, is it called? I forgot what the academy is called down there. So I did eventually surpass him, but he was leading as the authority for a while. Uh, this position of light at the start of the 17th century, the telescope was invented as it use in astronomy boomed research into the disposition of light became a key pursuit in improving it in particular the contemporary understandings of colors was incomplete in the chromatic aberration of lenses became an impediment to increasing fidelity uh, what kind of disposition does this phenomenon of light possess hmm Okay, so we've got one discovery done in that field of optics. There's about eight more. Now we have to consider what other fields we're going to go into. I was trying to pursue arithmetic in another area because I did have some skills there. Um, but Newton? Well, he also probably would go into astronomy, I would think with his uh, ideas of gravity so I'm assuming but then dynamics actually I didn't realize um, S I think is good I think it's aptitude so I might want to go go into Ooh. dynamics dynamics and math I'm gonna stay out of astronomy probably do dynamics, math, and optics. Optics is the least of the three. And we just published a paper on optics. Now, the other thing, as I think I mentioned before, uh, we are a student, and our income is five. You can change professions, like I said, but it takes about 80 fame. So we need a little bit more fame before we do that. So I think it's probably time to go back into the laboratory and we need to conduct uh, further reasoning. So let's go ahead and do some reasoning. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, I know why I went into math. It's because of the other item I have. I'll show you that in a second. Perhaps sunlight contains all the colors to begin with and suppose those colors are simply being dispersed through a prism. There we go, we reasoned it out. Okay, I think I've been talking for about 20 minutes now. Um, I find this game very interesting and fascinating. That's because I have an interest in science. I'm much more knowledgeable about history and politics, but um, science and uh, scientific revolution and teaching the history of science is uh, somewhat fascinating to me. So I'll probably continue with the series for a while. Uh, if you guys like it, I'll play more. Let me know what you think. Um, feel free to post down below and comment. And uh, have a good night.